Hello, I'm Adam Barrowlight and welcome to this Crystal Connections video where we're exploring five of my favourite crystals for peace. Now in a world that is always up and down, ever changing, there is conflict happening everywhere, we're always seeking for a bit of peace both within us and outside of us. And crystals are a really great way for just having a little powerful amulet nearby around our space or in our hand or against our chest to really help to nurture that peacefulness. Now I find peace has kind of two sides. We're always wanting peace around us and a bit more quiet and everyone getting along and some harmony. But first we must nurture that peace within. And what I have found through the years that if I can find that peace within, then that is reflected in the outside. And even when there is some chaos happening outside, it's easier to handle as well. So let's explore five different crystals that you can bring into your life to help cultivate peace within and around. Just by looking at this beautiful piece of blue lace agate, it starts to make me feel peaceful and calm. This is a really great crystal to have around you whenever you're feeling that stress and tension is kind of going on the up. If you find that at work you get stressed or it's a busy time, then having a piece on, this, on your desk can be really quite calming and soothing. It's also really great to have around the house. You know, putting a nice piece or even a few tumbled stones in a small bowl in the center of your house can help to kind of calm screaming children, barking dogs or screeching cats. I find whenever you just need some time to relax and, you know, regenerate, sit outside with a piece of blue lace agate in one hand and a cup of chamomile tea. Now these two work really well together. They kind of both have this energy of gentleness. And just sip that cup of tea and just feel that nice relaxing energy wash across you. Whenever you're feeling nervous, this is an amazing crystal to work with. I remember a friend of mine, doesn't believe in crystals, not into this kind of thing at all, works in law. Had to have an operation and he was a bit nervous. And I went to visit him just before the operation. I said, listen, I know you're not into this thing, but I'm just going to give you two little crystals. There's this one and a rose quartz. And you know, you can keep them nearby you and it might help, it might not. And what he told me afterwards, he said, I don't know what the deal is with those crystals, but there was something about holding that blue one that just made me feel really comfortable. And I was nervous about the operation, but as soon as I held it, I kind of felt like everything was gonna be all right. Now you can also use this crystal to send peaceful waves of energy across the world. We often hear about different disasters or war-torn areas, and we feel a bit helpless, but on an energetic level, hold blue lace agate, in your projective hand, the hand that you write with. For most of us, that will be our right. And visualize these soft blue colors and shades, almost like a mist descending over the area. You can also make a grid where you get a map of the world and put the blue lace agate over that map and then surround it with other peaceful crystals, maybe some of the others I'm gonna discuss in this video as well. So whether you're trying to generate peace within, peace around you, or peace far off, blue lace agate is a great place to start. Another beautiful blue crystal that brings peace into our world is angelite. Now angelite works beautifully with the throat chakra. And when we think of the throat chakra, we're often thinking about, oh, me speaking, me communicating in that type of way. But angelite teaches us another aspect of communication, one that's often forgotten, listening. And so angelite really helps us to not talk as much and to listen to what other people are saying. It's a crystal of brotherhood or bringing humanity together, bringing people together so that they listen and understand each other. It is sometimes said that the throat chakra is the bridge of peace, that when we can communicate clearly, and that involves listening to other people as well, we can then find commonalities, things, and find, I guess, repair those kind of breakages or where there is a break in the bridge. So whenever you need to create peace, Whenever you're feeling angry, or there's someone around you that's angry, or frustrated, or intolerant, or inconsiderate, then maybe there's just a need for a bit more listening. Maybe someone is angry, maybe someone is acting out, maybe someone is being aggressive because they're feeling unheard and that's the only way they know to get attention. Start working with Angelite. Allow yourself to really hear what these people are saying, and also having this around a space will really encourage other people to also listen as well. On a heavenly level, of course, angelite helps us listen to the angels. And the angelic realms are here to help us find peace and harmony in the world. So whenever you need guidance from the angels to hear what they're saying as well, reach for your angelite. 
quartz is found all around the world, but where it grows, it tends to adopt the energy of that land and sometimes of the people as well. So I want to introduce you to a bit of a rarer quartz called Tibetan quartz, obviously found in Tibet. Now sometimes this is called Tibetan black quartz because what really distinguishes it is it has these big black deposits and inclusions, you can see it on my pendant as well, in the quartz. So we know that clear quartz is kind of like this white light in a crystal that helps to bring balance and harmony, which is really beautiful when we want him to bring peace. But that black almost brings a, a kind of very sedate energy and really creates this nice yin yang. So this is really great for helping to bring peace and harmony back when things are out of balance. It's really good if you're feeling nervous, if you're feeling experiencing grief, to help you kind of recalibrate and find the joy in things as well. You know, the energy of this crystal really harmonizes with the guide of the panda. And we see pandas even in that black and white and that yang, they're quite powerful animals. And if you ever watch a mother trying to defend its child that's threatened, she's still quite fiery. But a lot of the time she has a lot of balance as well. You can even combine good old Tibetan quartz with bamboo. Not only does panda love it, but bamboo is really good for absorbing negative and unwanted energy. So having bamboo around your home can be quite helpful in that way. This is a really great one for helping to harmonize in a, in a, um, any inner kind of turmoil or imbalances. Try meditating with some Tibetan quartz and contemplate a time when you felt repressed, criticized, brought down in that way. And write that down on a bit of paper. Then on the other side of that paper, try and work out in that exact same moment how you're also being lifted up, elevated, or put on a pedestal, or being supported in some way. What this course will help you to do is discover that bad occasions often have a good side, and even good sides, or good occasions, have a bad side as well. It kind of helps you to collapse them and realize that everything just is what it is. And it's often the human um, emotionality that makes it more kind of turbulent. Now this may sound a bit kind of crazy at the start. If you'd like to know more about it, look up Dr. John Demartini in a great book called The Breakthrough Process. But this really helps you to kind of equilibrate everything. I don't even know if equilibrate is a word. <laughs> to equalize everything which is causing that disharmony or that um, lack of peace in your life. Overall though, when I feel, when I'm sitting with um, Tibetan quartz, when I'm holding it, I just feel that real kind of Zen feeling. Nice and kind of peaceful. And I find that, you know, the light within me starts to just become a bit more peaceful and that radiates out as well. I even notice that my voice gets a bit softer. I talk a bit slower and I just, that kind of spreads out. A really interesting thing you'll find that when you're communicating with people, especially someone who's, you know, really angry or frustrated, if you can calm down, eventually you can start to bring people to speak in exactly the way you are as well. So slow down, find that peace and harmony within, find that balance and that equilibrium, and you'll start to find peace emanating from within you, out into the world, and that being mirrored back to you. You're gonna to have to forgive me for the fourth crystal. The fourth crystal's perperite, and I just got out here into the bush and realized when I went to grab my piece, that's still sitting on my desk at home. So perperite is this brilliant crystal that's kind of, when you move it, you get these beautiful glistenings of purple on there. And after you watch this video, jump on and maybe um, yeah, check, check out a bit of it or stay tuned to the end of this video and I'll film a little bit of perperite very quickly for you then. Now perperite is known as a really great one for, especially people in power. And it's really good for helping to get rid of any resentment, any jealousy, any kind of corruption, or any ill feelings. Because when we're in a position of power, and we're all in a position of influence somehow in our world, um, that has a ripple effect. And Purpurite helps us to be aware of that and to make sure that we do live to be, I guess, operating from a higher sense, from a self that, where we are compassionate, where we're empathetic, where we realize that what our actions do whether we're friendly to you know, a person at the shops or nasty to them, whether we are nice to a coworker or not, whether we fire everyone or not, or yell or scream, all these different things, that will ripple through. That will affect how those people feel and that in turn will affect how other people feel and so on. Perperite is my favorite crystal for compromise. And in order to compromise, obviously, we need to listen to other people. We need to be that, have that compassion, that consideration to realize that everyone has individual needs and sometimes they're different from our own. Perperite is great for anyone, especially world leaders. If world leaders are meeting, I always have my Perperite nearby to help them compromise with each other and hear the different needs, the different things. 
Obviously, to create peace, we need to respect that other people do have those differences and Perperite will really help you to do that. So if you're finding disharmony in your life and conflict between someone else who has a different approach or a different belief or a different needs than you, and that's really causing the struggle, sit with Perperite. Try and you know, consider where their, what their perspective is. And instead of looking for win-lose situations and how you can beat them, try and find a win-win situation. It may take a little bit longer, but if your true desire is peace, then that win-win situation and Perperite is definitely what I'd be working with. It's amazing how sometimes Mother Earth grows crystals exactly where the people of the world need it. I want to introduce you to the high vibration crystal of Afghanite, which of course is found in Afghanistan. As we know for a long time in Afghanistan there has been a lack of peace and this crystal is immaculate for helping to bring out um, more peaceful tendencies. In fact, this crystal is renowned for working with our DNA and getting rid of the warring tendencies in our DNA. We all have this. Think about when someone pisses you off. When you get annoyed, what happens? You're like, oh, I'm gonna retaliate. Straight away, we flare right up. Whereas, Afghanite helps us to find ways to, when something upsets us, to take a deep breath, to find compassion, and to find a more powerful and potent way to recalibrate and rebring peace back into this situation. This is another great crystal. Whenever you need to, you can see it's a blue for communication. Whenever we need to be a leader of peace, bridging that peace and helping to bring people together rather than separate us apart. We know that we can start a battle. We've seen it happen with just one sentence, one critical word. But by using words such as maybe thank you, or I'm sorry, or I forgive you, or I forgive myself, it can also bring peace back as well. Afghanite will help you to get rid of that anger that fires up within you when something doesn't go your way and creates a disharmony and peace within and around you and it will allow you to communicate in ways that bring people together to talk to people's hearts and create more peace. So those are five of my favorite crystals for peace and there were plenty others that I could have chosen. Good old amethyst, halide or anything like that but I'd love to know about your favorite crystals for peace as well. Let me know in the comments section below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrowlow, blessed be. So here you go, here's a beautiful example of that perperite that I left on my desk. You can see that beautiful shimmering purple color of the stone. Really great as a stone of compromise.